Hello, and welcome back. I'm Aruma. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Ragusa in E4. Um, we need the Tunisians to have lower enthusiasm, so I want to maybe go pick off that stack. How many troops does Tunis have directly? They only have 14k infantry and 4k cavalry. So that's like half their army right there. Here, let's grab our mercs, have them go north. Let's grab... Basically, all mercs need to go north. I want to grab four cav. And I want a full 30 stack of artillery. Altogether, we have how many mercs? 15? 15. 15 regulars. Combat width is 29. 15 plus four cav is 19. So I just need 10 infantry plus maybe a few extra backups. Send like six more than necessary. And then these troops are just going to hang out in defensive terrain then. Since I don't want to fight with a very small stack with no backup, no artillery. Stack has a little bit too many troops in it now. It'll suffer attrition on the march over, unfortunately. Um, I really wish they would use area based supply in this game. So you don't suffer attrition for just marching around together. Whatever. Split into two parts and have them march over side by side. Three times you took Brittany as Provence and it always pissed off France so much that they ended the alliance. You agree with my decision not to take it? Oh, are you talking about the Provence campaign? Right. This is this is Ragusa though. Should sure we have a general there? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, if that fort falls, I need to remember to transfer it. It'd easily fall without me noticing. Oh, there it goes. Good. There you go, Nitro. We should make, uh... We could make Mr. Georgia pay for it, which would be just kind of funny. Okay, I'm going to put our 4-4 in charge. See if we can hopefully stack wipe that guy before any other armies can reinforce, like, say, that 33 stack. We don't care at all about the Ottoman army, because we're not going to make him just, like, one out of the war. But if we can stack wipe Tunis and reduce his army size, then he might want out just because of his enthusiasm. This is probably going to be a pretty bad fight. We got reinforcements on the way. This is part of a state. I don't really want to scorch it. Um, God, look at that general. 355. Five. We do have a tech advantage. Mm, yes. Yes, we still do. And we have reinforcements nearby, but he also does. I think we can win this fight, but not if those armories arrive as well. He wasn't blocking my navy in. We could even pick that army off by blocking the straight. Maybe I shouldn't have moved my navy that way. We should have taken advantage of the flagship and uh... Alright, I want... 2-4. I want to have two generals. In case one dies right before combat's about to start. That army actually lost his leader, and he's in hostile terrain, so he can't add a leader to it, and he's stuck moving here. That's a stack wipe, easy. TF are those borders? Why not the 4-4? I, I value the maneuver to try to keep our supply, uh, to keep the force, like the, the army, not too large. And also to give me a little bit of a maneuver advantage so that I can actually get in position to, to do stuff. I don't really want to fight this 3-5 again, but...
Normally I try to avoid attrition, but if we try to march the army around in two separate units, we're going to lose more troops in combat than we would lose due to the attrition. I think for right now, this is this is good though. Let's double back for a little bit, see if the Ottomans continue trying to pressure Syria. Damn it. I'm trying to make them not march together, but by one day they happen to be in the exact same province. They just lost 5% of the entire army. There goes all that manpower. It's so dumb. What's the war goal? Um, 4, 4, 5, 3. God, his generals are amazing. It's almost like he's got offensive ideas or something. Does he? He doesn't even. His generals are just outrageously good. We need offensive ideas. 63,000 Ottomans. We have four war score against the Ottomans right now. We need to re-elect because we're too high on Republican tradition. Ooh. 222. He's not guaranteed to be age 30, but he's quite he, he should be quite young. I like it. He is age 35. That's pretty good. I'll take it. He's secretive. Let's wait till he gets a few more stat points before we actually turn him into a general. Hopefully I don't forget that I just said that. Let me actually wait a little while. And we've got 45 day siege sticks, so Nitra's doing a good job, but Constantinople's already at 28% chance. I think he's gonna... probably get the fort back. Looks like Tunis is down a medium. Still haven't found the other Tunisian stack. There's five troops there. One of the Ottomans' ideas improves leader shock or fire. Does it? I know they have discipline. I didn't think they had guaranteed pips. Yeah, there's no guaranteed pip in there. You get combat ability for cavalry and discipline plus five, but no, no pips. And this is where, as I mentioned a couple episodes ago, if if we just try to keep fighting the Ottomans, we can't compete. He still has me beat on income, and obviously he's got me super, super beat on manpower. 2,000 manpower per month. So, 4 to 1 ratio. Losing more Stiplo rating. Got no debt yet either. Still, I can throw everything we have at that 63 stack, and maybe we can beat it. He only has... 21 artillery, and we've got a full back row of artillery. Plus, we've got our tech advantage. Maybe it'll be a, an advantage. Are we golden aged yet? No. We don't actually have the uh, all the things. We don't have three bonuses active, so I can't turn it on. Why negative war score with all that occupation? Because we're a secondary participant, and Tunis and the Ottomans have already full occupied all of the Mamluks and Georgia. I'm kind of tempted to reload the game just to see if the if the AI will peace out. The maneuver one here and the non-maneuver one here. Never mind, we need this guy here. Avoid that attrition. We might get lucky if he tries to cross the straight. Yeah, he got the fort back, forced my navy out. Unfortunately, we can't get there before the monthly tick, so that garrison's gonna recover slightly. We have to fight for 12 days, but then we can retreat from this location. We're, we'll retreat north, and maybe we can actually take advantage of our navy a little bit better. Hopefully, these ships don't all die. And... Could have been, could have been worse.
You want to eat kebabs? Kebabs are delicious, aren't they? We need more Diplo points. We're starting to feel the effects of being over the relationship limit. Like... I still haven't finished this idea group. We're still behind on tech by two levels. Like... It's... Frustrating how few monarch points we have. Austria? Seriously? Why? Why? Why would you ally him? Are you just trying to get on my nerves? Ooh. He won't defend Hungary, though. Kind of interesting. We have more monarch points if we got our power projection up as well. Integrate another subject? The only other vassal we have is Genoa. And if we integrate Genoa, then we lose the trade value in this node. I think we make a lot less money if he's integrated. We could do a barrage. We have 10 artillery though with a 3 leader siege bonus, so the fort should fall relatively fast even without a barrage. I predict 3 to 6 months, which is reasonably fast. God, his generals are nuts. Thirty-eight supply here, thirty-seven supply here. Uh, this is why it's nice to have high maneuver. I don't like suffering attrition just standing here waiting. I don't want to have to march up here. What do you think? Should we um, reload the save and see if they want to do a peace deal? Feels like Tunis should be wanting out relatively soon. They've got lots of war score against the Mamluks. Mamluks are on negative 51 war score directly. Like, personally held war score. Yeah, I think we do a quick reload. Let's just see. Maybe. Maybe they'll peace out. Just abusing vassals? Abusing them how? Why are we collecting in so many trade nodes? Yeah, that's it's because of the transfer trade mechanics. Does reloading often resolve wars? It can. The AI generally only evaluates wars once a year, but they also reevaluate wars upon load. So you can you can trigger them to Consider it an extra time. That stack only has six artillery. Might want to just march up there and uh, go fight them. This would be the best location to try to do boat shenanigans with that port. We could maybe get over there and of naval superiority in just this sea tile. We could pick the Ottoman stacks off as they cross. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's um I'm gonna try to march over separately, but um Technically this strait is in the Sea of Azov, right? Based on where the port is, I believe. So actually, do we need to blockade it here or here? I think it's Eastern Black Sea that we have to do it. If we start a battle here, he might break that siege. You never know. It might not fall. Never mind, it did. Well, that's just fine. Um, I think we need to fire Nusram. Nus and try to find a better general. We have more army tradition now because of the random 15 army tradition event that we had, and I, I just, I need a better general, I think. Sorry, buddy. So, who shall lead? Fex, that's a great name. <laughs> 986, Fex 1986, good luck. 
Are you serious? I think that you just literally replaced the guy I fired. Weren't those his exact stats? <laughs> uh, here, let's try uh, a couple more. We have, we're like 15 years out of time on tech, it's fine. They were brothers. <laughs> Grassy Albatross. That's a name I've never seen before. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Fex. You, your general ship was short-lived, but uh, now we've got combat, just like Kaufer, except we have the maneuver to go along with it. Beautiful. Uh, let's actually put him in the secondary army to catch them up, and we'll put Mr. Bogey in charge of this one. Okay, we can take Diplotech, but we still have one more idea to go, so I want to get that done first. Bum, bum, bum. Now you're obsolete? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's completely true. Um, S left our trade league, okay. That's fine. He's got 10 transports in here with two, tri two troops on them. Go fight that navy. We can pick off any of the Ottoman ships, that'd be nice. Any good policies coming up? Uh, we're just gonna gain a lot of merchants. This next idea gives us two merchants. We get Caravan Power plus 25, another merchant from the finisher for trade, and then the policies are trade efficiency plus 10, interest per annum minus 0.25, and merchant, merchants plus one, regiment costs minus 10. We'll definitely turn on the military policy for the regiment costs and the extra merchant, but um, the admin points, we are ahead of time on admin points as well. We might run that one as well. We'll see. Hey, look, rebels. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to avoid our army and go for Constantinople. We'll get that fort back, and then head this way. I'm gonna keep my navy in position, and maybe we'll be able to do something to this guy. Next time they go for this region here. There can be no peace, though, apparently. All right, final idea. Caravan power plus 25, merchants plus one. Let's just turn on both policies. And we'll run the trade efficiency one, I think. Or do we, we don't need to. Probably should have kept this one on, actually. We've had issues with aggressive expansion. And we're ahead of time on tech. Do we want to turn more of our admin points into money or not? For now, I'm not going to. Military points are not as valuable, though. I think. Okay, so we have two more merchants. Where shall they go? Krakow, we've got 14% control. Let's just collect there as well. We want to collect like everywhere because we've got, you know, collect, collect in two, collect in 10. 13% control in Alexandria. Aleppo's got 28 ducats. Holy crap. Ow. How does it have so much money in it? It's insane. Cover catch? Could the Ottoman occupations in Egypt be stopping Tunis from piecing out? It's possible, yeah. The Tunisians just want these two provinces, so... It could be that he called in the Ottomans on a promise of war. I don't think he would, though. They've been allies for a long time. Unfortunate. That's the thing we're the most behind in. It's lost some more points. Oh, he's actually looking like he's scared of our army. That's a good sign. Hey, look, more Georgian peasants. Excellent. Whether they've been enlisted properly or they're just peasantry, they will rebel. They'll fight, fight off the Ottomans as best they can. My guess is that as soon as we get in a position down here again, the Ottomans are going to move back up north into that area. So... Just wait. Let's 
Wow. We have a lot of Republican tradition right now. All right, there's our deal. Tunisian conquest of Benghazi. Mamluks seed Benghazi, Darna, and Bardia to Tunis. Mamluks seeds Alexandria to the Ottomans. So, once again, we didn't actually take clay, but now we have a 10-year truce. We're safe again. Buys us more time to grow and get strong enough to beat the Ottomans. And that's why we got involved in the war. So, 10 years to go beat up on the Commonwealth, Hungary, etc. And then we come back. I'm, I'm looking at this Hungary war right now and thinking that that's the way we go. I think we can easily beat Spain. Without Austria being involved, this war looks easy. Provence would not defend Tuscany. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take a short break here if you're watching on YouTube. Otherwise, stick around on Twitch and I'll see you again in a moment. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.